say, the butch is coming. The butch is coming. <laughs> <laughs> Go subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Brews and Reviews. It's knowledge. The butcher coming indeed. He's really letting us know he's coming on this track. Good Lord. He's not holding back at all. Featuring J. Cole on an alchemist beat. What better way to drop a single for the highly anticipated Tana Talk 4, the sequel to arguably the best Griselda project of all time, Tana Talk 3. Many people would say that. I might not say it's the best Griselda project of all time, but definitely the best Benny project, in my opinion, until he drops Tana Talk 4, if this track is any indication. And Benny's on the come up being able to feature J. Cole on this on Cole's birthday, no less. This track dropped January 28th. That is J. Cole's birthday. Only reason I know that is because I was going to review the Earth Gang album that was supposed to drop today, and everybody was talking about how Earth Gang stole Cole's birthday. The Earth Gang album being MIA, by the way. Shout out to the 90s. Y'all don't even know, I used to go to the record store, drive up to a prepared to buy an album that was supposed to drop, and they got pushed back all the time back then. So this is nothing new. I can wait another week. But anyway, back to this track. Benny said about working with Cole, iron sharpens iron. You want to be in an environment where someone has the presence to push you. And I can tell Benny did feel a little bit pushed by Cole on this album. And Cole definitely felt pushed by Benny. You can hear that in both verses. But that ain't Cole on the cover with him. The name Johnny P's caddy that actually apparently refers to Benny's dad's car who he used to drive around Benny and West Side Gun in vibing and forming both of their loves for music. And if that's true, I think we all gotta love and respect Johnny P's caddy because it ends up in a roundabout way being responsible for some of the best music that's been made in the last few years. Classic Uncle Al vibes to kick off the track, layered vocal samples, atmospheric feel, and we actually got drums. That's not always a given for Alchemist this day, these days. Actually, a pretty dope drum line with a hi-hat to complete it all. And I'm glad we got drums because there's definitely no guarantees with Al these days or Griselda for that matter. I think they pretty much normalized the drumless sound. Nowadays, a lot of producers are doing the drumless thing. Benny kicks his trademark multi-syllabic rhyme pattern right from the very beginning, sounding just as sharp as ever. And his lyrics, I think, are getting even more nice as he gets older. Say what you will about Plugs I Met too, but he had some really introspective bars on that. And he proves the same thing here. It's gonna be a little reflective in his lyrics on the track. He says, this ain't my story about rags to riches, more about how I mastered physics. In the game, I used to train like Rocky, catch and chickens. I was nice, but they was right when they told me rap was business. I had 10 bands in my stash when I passed over a half million. And some of this is just bragging, I earned and deserved my wealth kind of style. And we've heard that before, but there's a little edge to this because he does sound like he's directing it at somebody specific, like someone trying to say that he doesn't deserve his success. And you can hear the emotion in his voice throughout the track, like he's really going at this person, really telling them, really proving his point that he deserves what he's got in the rap game. When I say it sounds like somebody specific, these lines make me kind of think that he says, it's like they put out a smash, then they gone in a flash, admit it. And then they make tracks and diss you like that's gonna add up the digits. Aside from his rap career, he talks about how the character that he played in conflicted. He wasn't really acting because that was really him. He's not so focused about rapping about his former life as a drug dealer on this track as he is about what that lifestyle did to him mentally. He says, the streets did so much shit to me, I can never live civilly. I can never leave the scene without checking my mirrors visually. 
come with energy because some shit gonna always stick with me. They want to know what I brought to Gazelda. I said validity. That last line also caught me for a minute because what he's trying to say that the rest of Gazelda's stories aren't valid. I know he doesn't mean that because he goes on to big up Westside and Conway a little bit later on, but the way that he worded it definitely made it sound like a shot at the other guys. So that's a bit of an awkward bar, still a nice bar in the way that he says it, but awkwardly worded, I think. Because if he's bringing validity to Griselda, it implies that the other guys aren't. But he makes up for that when he says, besides Khan and Wes, tell me who else I gotta respect. And then we get Cole. Cole's verse, man. This is, I think this is better than anything that I heard on his last album. He precedes his verse by saying that he's on 10, not nine. And then he proceeds to prove that with every word that he spits after. But before I get into that, let me tell you that I'm sipping on a harpoon crack. I thought it said crack at first, but harpoon crack, that is a red IPA, Irish, very tasty, 6.9%, very strong beer that I'm feeling right now. And it's helping me feel this track, but more so than the alcohol, it's really about alchemist. J. Cole and Benny the Butcher because they're all going off on this. And it has to be more than a coincidence. Perfect timing for Benny to drop this on his birthday because Cole is talking about the day that he was born right when he kicks it off. They had to have that planned and it's the little touches that make these guys great. But Cole says, on the night I was born, the rain was pouring, God was crying. Lightning struck, power outage, sparks was flying. The real ones here, the young boy that walk with lions around the outlines of chalk where the corpse is lying. Then he goes on to criticize rappers that are only about drugs and guns or only talk about that. A little bit ironic, a little bit suspect, really, that he's doing that on a Griselda track with Benny right there. Benny's right there. And you're saying something like this. But of course, he's not talking about Benny. And he does make a point when he says, but that just mean I ain't as comfortable as y'all with lion. So never mind that he just rhymed the word lion with itself three times. I think it's still a dope bar. And he goes on to completely make up for the redundant rhyme scheme with some really incredible ill metaphors. This one stood out in particular. He says, want me on a song? He gonna see the wrath of the reaper. I'm probably gonna go to hell if Jesus asked me for a feature. What? What? That is dope. That is the best line of 2022 so far. I know it's early in the year, but that's got to hold up. That's going to be a contender for line of the year at the end of the year. Go on, Cole. Go on. He says, some see the glass is empty. I see a glass full of ether collecting his bread in mass like he a Catholic preacher. Just to count a cash, you might need a calculus teacher. Eureka, Einstein on the brink of the theory of relativity. Really, no MC equal. Feel me? Theory of relativity. E equals MC squared. That's what it is. No MC equal me. You see what he did there? And not just as it'll play on words, but the theory of relativity is Einstein's most well-known contribution to science. So Cole is basically comparing himself and what he's doing right now to Einstein at that moment before he came up with his greatest contribution to society. And that's Cole right now. That is just too dope. It's too dope. And I was not that impressed really with Cole's last album. I love Cole, but that was a letdown to me. So I really didn't expect him to come with bars this hard and this complex on this feature. All in all, this is a great track and I am really 
Thurston for Tana Talk 4 now. So I can't wait to hear it. Benny, great track. Cole, Alchemist. Everybody check out Johnny P's Caddy. Thank you for watching my review of Benny the Butcher featuring J. Cole, Johnny P's Caddy. If you like this, go ahead and hit like now and hit me up in the comments. If you didn't like it, also let me know why in the comments. I drop hip-hop and hops related content consistently. So subscribe to my channel now. And until I see you next time, keep buzzing. Fucking man says subscribe, but if he's on his channel saying that somebody album is better than mine, unsubscribe. <laughs> no, your your album's the best, man. There you go. Subscribe. Yeah, subscribe.